Good morning. I'm Jim Shipstead, one of the pastors here at First Congregational Church of Anaheim. I'd like to welcome all of you to our third Sunday of Advent worship service. It's really a special day because uh, we're going to have a special comp uh, concert with, uh, with Raphia and uh, Izzy and uh, Tyler and Craig. We're so glad that God's really gifted them in the area of music, and I think it's going to go very well today. Um, I wanted to also uh, just welcome those of you who are joining us online. Um, how important it is to be able to share these posts sometimes. We had uh, 50 some people share the post last Sunday service and had something like, we had uh, 987 people at least uh, take a look at the service. We don't know how long they were in there or anything, but uh, it's amazing when you share uh, from your Facebook or YouTube or whatever that it can really touch a lot of lives. You don't know which people need a, a touch from and brought joy into their lives uh, during this season. Um, I wanted to let you know that uh, tomorrow we have a very special guest, a guy named Gil Gazanian, who will be at our men's group. It's called JOG. Well, ladies are invited to come as well. And uh, what's so nice about that is um, Gil just really loves the Lord. He retired a few years ago. His wife had a bout with cancer, and it was kind of touch and go for a while, but she's doing very well, and we thank God for that. And then they had a, a little, uh, their first granddaughter uh, only weighed less than two pounds, and uh, she came through that. So he's got quite a story to tell uh, about how kind of God got him through all these difficult times. Um, I wanted to have Tom come forward. We've been praying for his daughter. And as he's coming, I want to remind you that we have a Christmas Eve candlelight service. It'll be at 7.30, and then our regular Christmas service will be here in the sanctuary at 10.45. Uh, Tom, come and share with us. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank you for your prayers. These are tears of joy. <clears throat> I wasn't going to do that, but I couldn't hold it. Uh, anyway, she came through with 16 hour surgery for brain tumor, and she's doing better than they thought she was going to be. She got up yesterday and she was able to walk with the aid of the nurses and uh, walked about 20 feet or so. And uh, she's talking and joking, and uh, it's been a real blessing. But I know, I know it wouldn't have happened if it hadn't have been for your prayers. So thank you, each and every one of you. God bless you. Thanks, Jim. Thank you, Tom. That's great news. Um, I wanted to let you know we have a church app, and we also have an e-news that goes out every Thursday. And it kind of gives you details of what's happening in the church. But Wally Haas um, and his daughter Patty and, and Stan are here today. Um, but Wally passed away, and there's going to be a memorial service for him here at our church at 11 o'clock. And uh, so Wally and LeVon were just longtime members of the church here, and just dear, dear people who love God. But all the details, there's also going to be a... Um, a, a viewing up at Memory Gardens at, on Friday, uh, January 6th from 5 to 7, and then Saturday, and then also on that day there'll be a graveside, but the, the main service will be here at 11 o'clock on Saturday, January 7th. Also, I want to let you know that uh, some of you know that we're planning to go to Fiji next year, and uh, if you can start saving your pennies to go, uh, it's going to be a wonderful trip. Every four years, the congregational churches uh, get together in different parts of the world. We've been to South Africa, to Brazil, Argentina, Greece, South Korea, England a number of times. So this time we're going to Fiji, and we're really looking forward to that. Uh, there's, there's, it's got, the conference is called Good News That Transforms, and there'll help, there'll be uh, speakers from around the world there. We're, we've got a, little, a lot of activities planned um, we're going to visit various sites, and uh, we're really looking forward to that. We just thank God for this opportunity. Also, uh, the poinsettias, if, 
any of you want to uh, get some poinsettias and put it in memory of or in honor of, the details are uh, inserted in your bulletin. It's $10. Also, um, we're going to uh, light the candles now, and uh, Jaden and Roshan uh, Krishna are going to come, and they're actually from Fiji, so I wish they could go with us. That'd be great. So they're going to explain a little bit about the Advent wreath. The first Advent candle reminds us that God's people hope for a Savior. Jesus is our hope. This second candle reminds us that Jesus came to bring peace and goodwill. Jesus is our peace. third Sunday of Advent, we remember the joy Jesus brings to us and to all people. This candle reminds us that the angels' good news of great joy told, us, told to the shepherds, we light this candle for joy. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you that through you we can always find joy. Help us to bring joy to our world by loving others the way Jesus taught us. Amen. Thank you guys. Good job. Well, we're, we're ready to worship here in a minute. We're just so thankful for this season of the year that we can come before the Lord. So let's just pause for a moment of prayer. Eternal God, on this third Sunday of Advent, we're reminded of the words from the prophet Zephaniah, to shout for joy, O daughter of Zion. And also the psalmist reminds us to cry out with joy and gladness. Eternal God, thank you that we can cry out to you in joy and gladness because of your great love for us, demonstrated to us in the coming of Jesus, who leads us in righteousness and truth. We thank you, Lord, that we can follow your teachings with joy, knowing that you will give us strength as we face the challenges of life and light to conquer the darkness. Today we pray for those who have health concerns. We think of Dolores. Eileen, Carol, Carson, Berlalis, uh, Margaret, Diana, and Jan. And Lord, we also pray that you comfort Wally and LaVon and Virginia and Tressler's family. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of knowing these dear, dear people who are now at rest with you. As we come before you and worship this day, may our hearts magnify your name. May, uh, may we be receptive to your will among us. We thank you, Lord, for, for Izzy and Rafia and Tyler and Craig and their giftedness in music. Please anoint them with your spirit as they lead us in worshiping you, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Amen.
Our scripture reading this morning comes from Luke 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things, and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. May God bless us in our hearing of his word this morning. And at this time, we look forward to enjoying uh, some carols by Izzy Martin Jr. and Rafia Thomas. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're glad to see the rain didn't keep everyone home, huh? (laughs) But it is lovely to have. We've been needing it so much. I almost stayed home this morning just to watch the rain. (laughs) No, (laughs) no, actually, I wanted to be here. Anyway, we're going to, um, Rafi and I put together a little thing. It's uh, something just to bring a little joy and hopefully uh, some some caroling to uh, to the season, that is, of the crisis born. Do your thing, buddy.
A newborn came to see her up a bum bum. Our finest gifts to bring her up a bum bum. To lay before the king her up a bum bum. Rap a bum bum. Rap a bum bum. So to honor him for rap a bum bum. When we come. We got this for Rafi. I knew she would do a great job on this song. We know this song. This is one of my favorite Christmas songs. And it's called Fool. Oh, I love this song too. <laughs> Feel free to sing along. Oh, holy night. The stars are brightly shining. It is the time of a dream. It's a little low. <laughs> a thrill of home. The weary world rejoices for yonder brain. There we go. A new and glorious morn. Oh, 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 your needs. Oh, he.
the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior. Long lay the world in sin and never pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. Sing this with us, guys. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. It's a joy singing with Izzy. Hey, thank we you. have a lot of fun uh, singing together. <laughs> we're gonna go back and just do one little traditional song for you. You know this one. Everybody knows this one. Right? Here we go. I can hear it now. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe Oh, help to make the season bright mm -hmm. Tiny little tots with their eyes all aglow, we'll find it hard to sleep tonight. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh. Ooh, and every mother's child is gonna spy. To see if little bitty baby teeny weeny reindeers really know how to fly. And so I'm offering this simple phrase to kids from one to ninety-two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. This will make you want to float, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm, la, la, da, da, da. 
thing is he? Nat King Cole. He would just do this. I love it. Makes you feel young again, huh? <laughs> Make me feel old. No. Seven night went to the little lamb. Do you see what I We got this one more song to do here, and uh, what we wanted to do is just take it back to the old church in the woods, where, <laughs> where everybody's getting down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're gonna do what? We're gonna go tell it somewhere. Tell it where? I think maybe on the mountain. On the mountain. Yeah. There it is. I think I hear it. <laughs> it. Well, it was there. Oh. There it is. Oh, tell it on the mountain, oh, the 
hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds kept their watching all the silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there shone a holy light. Oh, oh, oh. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go. Tell it on the mountain, oh, Jesus Christ is born. Oh, while shepherds feel and tremble, when low above the earth, they ring out the angels' choruses that hail our Savior's birth. Go, 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 yeah. go, tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born One more time, you say Down in the lonely manger The humble Christ was born And, he and brought us all salvation That, that blessed is Christmas morning oh, yeah. Say go Tell it on the mountain. Come on, let's get it. You can say it. Over the hills oh, and, hill and everywhere. everywhere. Go, go tell it on the mountain. mountain. That Jesus Christ is born. Oh, yeah. go, go tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain. That Jesus Christ is born. Try doing that early on a Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I thought if I sat there longer, they might sing longer. <laughs> Um, thank you, especially to Rafia for coming out today. She's got to run out the door to another gig, and we're just so grateful that you both made it work today. <laughs> At this time, our ushers will collect the morning offering. And again, there's a form in your bulletin if you would like to purchase a poinsettia in honor of or in memory of a loved one for this Christmas. Please fill out this form. Mark your offering envelope, and we'll be sure to have that in the bulletin on Christmas Eve. Let us pray for the offering. God, we thank you for the many blessings that are ours in this season. We especially look towards the manger, and we thank you for the life of your son. God, as we open our hands to give back out of the blessings, we pray that you would use them for the building of your kingdom, 
that you would use these gifts to share your love. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you to stand and to join together in our final song, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. I want to thank you so much for putting that little concert together, you and Rafi. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> and also, uh, Izzy's namesake is here today, little Izzy Jr. And uh, grandson Jr. <laughs> My first grandson. Look at that. <laughs> uh, Terry, how old is he? Fourteen, Fourteen weeks. And he already knows how to play guitar. No. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be singing up here before you know it. But anyway, what a great time of the year. We think it, <laughs> celebrate Christ's birth and have a little baby around. It's just wonderful. So anyway, uh, following the benediction, please uh, join us in the library for some, some uh, hot chocolate or hot tea or coffee or different things, some goodies, and let's fellowship one with another. But as it have been great to be in the house of the Lord together. And, Thank you so much. And uh, Christmas Eve will be here. It'll be a candlelight service, and Rafi will be singing again, and it'll just be a wonderful time of worship. But I think the candlelight service Christmas Eve is kind of one of the highlights of the whole Advent season, and it's so wonderful to, to light the candles and, uh, and just to, to experience kind of uh, how light um, gets rid of the darkness, it dispels the darkness, and we can really kind of see it in a very tangible way as we light the candles. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his counts upon you and give you his peace, both now and forever. Amen.